Hey everyone, in this simple crafting video, I want to show you how I made this adorable bell bag from Animal Crossing. I'm trying to burn through some materials I already have on hand during quarantine, and this easy project was a great choice to help me with that. So let's get started. The pattern I'm using is from Rising Moon Designs on Etsy and only cost me $5. It's extremely well written, very easy to follow, and overall very beginner friendly. I'll leave the link to the shop down in the description. The fabric I'm using is Minky in the color Lemon, and the brown star is just regular felt. Minky is a usual go-to for a lot of plushie makers, and I bought this forever ago for a project that I honestly don't even remember. So I'm pretty glad that it's finally getting some use, but of course feel free to use whatever fabric works best for you for this project. Once all my pieces were cut, the first step was to attach the star to the front of the bag. Using the pattern piece, I poked holes at the points of the star and used my heat erasing pin to mark through those holes onto the fabric. The star itself was attached with DMC embroidery floss and a simple stitch going all the way around. The star can be sewn on with your machine, glued on, or however you'd like to do it. After the star was in place, the next step was to sew both of our body pieces together along the sides. From there, I folded down the top of the bag to the marked sew lines on the pattern and tucked under the raw edge. Sewing it in place, I then sewed a second stitch above the first one to create a channel that our ribbon would later go through. With the main body done, it was time to attach the bottom. Marking the center points of the bottom, I carefully lined it up and stitched it into place. It can be a bit tricky when working with curved shapes like this, so just take your time and make sure to secure the pieces together before sewing so nothing slides around while working it through the machine. Once the bottom was in place, it was time to move on to the final step, cutting small slits on either side of the channel being very careful to only go through the top layer of my fabric. I then used a piece of fabric wire to feed two 17 inch pieces of red ribbon through. You can use a safety pin or anything you want to feed the ribbon, but I had some of this wire laying around and it was perfect for this job. Once I had the ribbon pulled through, I tied both ends into these cute little knots to prevent it from slipping back into the bag. I also then trimmed the edges and used a lighter to very carefully burn those edges just to prevent any future fraying. And that's it! I now have a cute little bell bag to carry around any fossils or bells I may find. Let me know if you decide to make yourself a little bell bag or if you've done any other fun Animal Crossing projects. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.